Hello everyone, welcome to the third episode of how to make a top-down shooter in Superpowers. Today we're going to be creating an enemy behavior and we're going to be implementing shooting. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the game here. You can see the enemy is always uh, looking at us and is moving towards us. So it's kind of like it's following us. Uh, there's no pathfinding yet. Just this, just this simple little AI. And then if we click, uh, bullets will come out of our gun and we can shoot them. You'll also notice that the bullets uh, destroy after a certain period of time. So yeah, that's that. Now let's look at the scene. We have the enemy, which has just a just the same model render. I just duplicated the player model and made it green for the enemy. That's basically all I did for that. And then it has this enemy behavior on it. And that's it. Now if we look at the player, it has this gun attached to it, which is again just another block, uh, colored gray. I'm not going to go over modeling in these tutorials, and it has the gun behavior um, script on it. And then we also have this bullet pretty fast scene which has the bullet, the bullet is at zero, 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 and it has this little bullet behavior script on it. So, go ahead and create, actually no. First we're going to do the enemy. So, what we're basically trying to achieve is making the enemy look at the player and then just move towards it. So here we're going to be setting the speed of the enemy and getting the player after. Um, I'm going to start moving a little faster since you guys, I hope you guys are learning so I won't have to go over everything as much. So we're going to do speed equals 0 0.025. You can change this later if you want depending on what kind of difficulty your enemies will have. And then we're going to do player equals sup.getActor and then the name of your player. And then the update, we're going to be making the enemy look at the player and then move the enemy towards the player. And to do this, we're going to do this.actor.lookat, this.player.getPosition. And it's very important that you have these open and close parentheses because then it will have nowhere to, to put the position. <clears throat> and then we're going to do this.actor.moveOriented Z by negative this dot speed. I needed some water and then if you run the game you should see that the enemy is now moving towards the player. You may have to um, tinker around with uh, moving the enemy because when it does look at it looks at it not this way, but the other way. So if you set the speed to a negative number, then this will probably be positive. And if you set it to a positive number, this will be negative. Just in case you guys are having any issues with that. Then we're going to go and hop over into the gun behavior. So we're going right here, we're going to be setting the time between shots. And we're just going to do T between shots equals 10. Again, you can change that to your liking. And then we're going to be counting down the time between shots by just doing this dot time between shots minus equals 1. And what this will do is it will take the time between shots and just minus 1 every time. So we don't have to do time between shots equals time between shots minus 1. Um, and then we're going to be checking if the mouse is down. 
to shoot. So sup dot input if sup dot input is mouse button down zero, which is left click, and then if the, also the time between shots is less than zero. So if we can shoot again, then let the bullet then let bullet equal sup dot append scene. Now we're gonna grab this scene that we made, which is the bullet prefab scene, and then we're gonna parent it to this actor. And then we're gonna set the time between shots back to 10. Pretty simple stuff. And then in the bullet behavior, what you're gonna put on this bullet inside of your bullet prefab scene is this script. So we're gonna do setting the time the bullet will be destroyed. So we're just gonna do time to destroy equals 120. You can change that again. Um, counting down the time to destroy and removing the bullet's parent and moving the bullet is what we're going to be doing in the update function. So we're going to do this dot time to destroy minus equals one again. Um, and then we're going to do this dot actor set parent to null. And what basically why we have this is because if we leave the bullet parented to the gun when we're moving around the player, the gun the bullets are going to be moving with the gun. But we don't want that, so we're going to set the parent to null, and this will make the bullet have no parent, so it'll just be going off in its own direction. Then we actually have to move it in the direction by doing this.actor.moveoriented z by negative 0 0.5. You can change that again. Then we're going to be checking the time to destroy by if the by if this dot time to destroy is less than zero, then this dot actor dot destroy. And this will make sure that we aren't spawning in a billion bullets and when they're already like a mile away from the player, they still won't be um they still won't exist. So that will um save the some strain on the game. So yeah. Uh, in your scene, you should have the enemy with the your enemy model, um, the enemy behavior script, and then your gun should be parented to your player wherever you want it. Mine is just on the right side of it, and it should have the gun behavior script onto it. And you should have this bullet prefab scene which has the bullet and the bullet behavior scene. And that's it. Let's go ahead and run the game. There we go, guys. You can see the uh, enemy is constantly looking. Uh, it's looking at uh, the player every update, and it's always moving forward. And since it's already looking at the player, it's going to be moving towards the player. And then we can shoot with our gun. Like so. We can't actually kill the enemy yet. That'll be in a, a later tutorial. But yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. And see you later.